Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So it's been a long time coming, but it is finally, finally official. Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia will be on April 22nd. And it is, to date, the biggest fight of the year. The biggest fight in recent years. This is actually the biggest fight since Mayweather versus Pacquiao. And what makes this news even bigger for boxing fans is we still have the announcement of Stephen Fulton versus Naoya Inoue and Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko. These are all massive fights and very significant fights. And it's rare to have all of these type of fights in one year because all of these fights that I mentioned are going to change the landscape of the pound for pound list. Javante Tang Davis is already the new face of boxing. If he were to beat Ryan Garcia, he cements that. If Ryan Garcia were to beat Javante Tank Davis, he would be the new face of boxing. So there's a lot on the line when it comes to this fight. And it is a competitive fight. Even though Javante is favored to win, this will be a very competitive fight. At least in the first half, I believe. It's also looking like the undercard is starting to come together and is looking really nice as well. Uh, according to reports, there's a very good chance that Jerron Ennis, the man that I nicknamed the Mountain King, because he's the one that just beat Rashidi Ellis, and after he beat him, he said he realized black fighters, they don't run mountains, and he does. And he attributes that to why he beat Ellis. So we might get to see Jerron Ennis versus the Mountain King on the Davis versus Garcia undercard, which should be a really good fight because the one thing about Villa is he definitely has power, he's durable. So it would be really interesting to see how Jerron Ennis is going to deal with a puncher who probably punches just as hard as Jerron Ennis does and also continues to come forward. We also have William Zapata on the undercard, the man that just came off of a big win beating Jojo Diaz, but turned down a title eliminator to fight Shakur Stevenson. He's on the undercard against a to-be-announced opponent. And I'm assuming there's going to be a couple other names announced soon. So Javante Tang Davis, uh, he responded to this news. He posted uh, something on his Instagram. Basically, it was just him announcing the fight. He says, Las Vegas is on. Hashtag Davis Garcia. Go. So at the end of the day, we really have to thank uh, Javante Tang Davis and Ryan Garcia for making this fight happen because they really saved the year. Now, don't get me wrong. I would still say in terms of the pound for pound list, Fulton versus Inouye and Devin Haney versus Lomachenko are just a little bit more significant. But when it comes to Javante versus Ryan, that is the biggest event by far, probably in the last eight or nine years. Now, there's also rumors that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are back in negotiations. I hope them seeing what Ryan Garcia and Davis have just done inspires them to make that fight come to fruition. But we'll see soon. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. One of the most anticipated dog breedings has finally been confirmed. The pups from this pairing of Zeta and DMX will be born very soon. We are now accepting deposits. Our pups will come with ears cropped and a two-year health guarantee. Get ahead of the pack on purchasing a puppy by contacting NWA Cane Corsos on Instagram at NWA Cane Corsos. Call or text 479-326-1603 with any questions. A guard dog is your first line of defense. These will be the right pups for the job. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, 
Visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.